Welcome back to the K Dog and Fish Show. You guys supply the topics. We put them in the K Dog and Fish Bowl. Three topics, three minutes. Oh. Start the timer. Let's, Let's go. go. Wings or flats? Largest animal we could take in a fight. Vintage Degrassi. Let's talk about it. Topic one. All right. Shout out to everyone who submitted new topics this week. If your topic gets pulled, you do get a shout out on the show. It's episode 57 with the new setup. Mm hmm. Who's it from? Boop. Wooly. The wool man. This is a trending topic. Okay. Chicken wings. Wings or drums? Now it is Super Bowl weekend, that, so that ties wings. In. This ties in well. The wings are very good. All right, let's start that timer. I'm not going to lie. If there's one thing that you and I like to eat, yeah. it's chicken wings. True story. Uh, yeah. So... This is a great topic. Yeah. Now, my I'll tell you, for uh, my wife mm -hmm. will only eat the wing part mm -hmm. and leaves me all the drums. So the flats. Which I like. Well, oh, like, is that the professional term? Yeah, the, I don't know why the they flats? call it flats. Why do they call it flats? All right. So the because wing part is... Flat? the They are flat, yeah. Uh, and I like the drums, mm -hmm. but I also like, uh, like a wing. You like a little flat? Now... Like you a little flat in your mouth? <laughs> It depends on what you're you talking put about. Flat in your mouth. It depends on what you're talking. Two boners. Two boners. Uh, two boners. Right. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna say yeah. two boners in your mouth on on this show, but um, you, I, you oh, just, I just yeah. I just did that. Yeah. But as far as wings are concerned, you and I do love wings. Yeah. Uh, I used to eat the KFC wings mm -hmm. all the time, mm -hmm. uh, which are really good, very spicy. Yeah. Uh, and there's there's a lot to dive in on this topic because yeah. there's sauces, breaded, unbreaded. Mm -hmm. Uh, more than just the wing versus the drum. So yeah. for me, I prefer the drum. I yeah. think it's only because I'm more accustomed to it because mm -hmm. um, of the situation of my wife will only eat the wing part. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. I'm definitely a drum guy too. Yeah. You know? But I gotta find, we got to find some new places to get some wings, you know? Well, there's a new you know? fully only wing place in town yeah, but that we've never been to. But I don't think they're breaded. I don't think that they're breaded, like, but that's uh, not bad because I'm trying to not eat breaded. Well, that doesn't, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> I'm trying to eat all the breading. Got it, gotcha. So I don't really get where that's coming yeah. from. So uh, I'm a drum guy. I'm a drum guy. Drum over wing. Yeah. The best wings that they don't, they're not the same anymore was Hooters. Remember back in the uh, day? Hooters, Hooters, Hooters. <laughs> Is yeah. that uh, Big Daddy? Big Daddy. Big Daddy, yeah. yeah. They had the best, and Three Mile Island sauce was so good. Yeah. And then I went to the one in Niagara Falls, and it was just not, it was just Not bad. the same. Not the same. It was yeah. bad. It was actually really bad. Yeah. Uh, KFC hot wings are really are good, good, and they are breaded with the KFC batter. Yeah. Uh, you can't go wrong there. I also, we go to BP's. Shout out to Boston Pizza. Like, they do have, they have a good wing. We they get those wings. fried. Yeah, they uh, are good. Those are good. Yeah. And they're good. Actually, the last time we went, a little salt and pepper, a little S&P. Yeah. Uh, a little ranch, a yeah. little uh, Frank's Hot, mm -hmm. a little medium sauce. Gotcha. You're good to go. Oh, now I'm hungry. All right. Well, now we got to just go. Now get we got to go get wings. <laughs> go get wings. All right. But it is Super Bowl Sunday, so it's yeah. a great topic. I'm glad we pulled it. I'm definitely I, more of a drum guy. Definitely I, drum. I do like the wings. I actually saw this really cool thing on TikTok where you push in the two bones and they come out the other side and you're just left with the meat when you oh. do eat a wing. Oh. It's an interesting thought. I that's haven't tried pretty, it yet. That's pretty fancy. I haven't tried it yet. Uh, I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about it. I worry it. if I'm going to do that and then the wing's just going to shoot like... <laughs> don't know? try it. Do not do it at home. Yeah. Don't do it at a restaurant. Okay, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, you don't want to hit another table with a wing. Not right in the eye and then you're, the getting, flat. you're getting sued. It's going to be a flat. Flat in the face. Topic two. All right, let's go. Oh, well, got it. Got it? Got it. Got one or two there. I got one. Scoop. H.T. Oro. Mm -hmm. That is Jerry Power. Jerry Power. Also, before I read this, we should say that in there, we announced in the last Thursday threesome, there yeah. are what we call BMBB. Yeah. B Money's blind bag mm -hmm. topics. So nice. to fill up the bowl, we have no idea what they are. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have to talk about it off the cuff. So it's completely random what we pull. Mm -hmm. But there are a topics submitted by B Money for mm -hmm. the B Money blind bag. Mm -hmm. We haven't pulled one yet, but they're in there. They're in there. Okay. HT Oro. Right. Okay. What is the largest animal you think you could take in a one on one fight? What is the largest animal? Start the timer. I feel like we've had 
many topics about us. About fighting animals. Fighting animals. I actually think a lot of them come from Jerry. I think so. <laughs> I think Jerry's got a thing about fighting animals. All right, start the timer. All right. What is the largest animal you think you could take in a one-on-one fight? So you could start small, like a chicken. Yeah. I could just punt it like a like a football. You you win that game, right? You go a little bigger. You're like shitty game for the chicken. <laughs> It's not a good game for the chicken. The chicken's just like... Hmm. Yeah, why'd you punt me, dude? Why'd you punt me, man? Yeah, I'm yeah. going to punt the eggs right out of you. Yeah, yeah. But you can go a little bit bigger mm-hmm. uh, other than, than a chicken, but you don't want to go too big where you're like a grizzly bear. What's the largest animal you think you could take in a one-on-one fight? So here's the problem with animal okay. is that it's a wild animal. Yeah. So what? So you never know what they're gonna do. You can have a big domesticated animal like an uh, like a uh, an emu yeah. or a, or an ostrich. Oh, you can't take any of those. They'll, they'll kill you. They'll kill. They'll, they'll, <laughs> they'll kill you. They'll just peck your they'll eyes just kill you. They, an ostrich? Yeah. Oh, I think I could take. I'd rather an take on an elephant than an ostrich. Uh, ostrich no, an el- o- ostrich are quick and they're wily. Elephant will s- or sit on you. You're done. Yeah, but I can you're, get out of the way. You, you know, an ostrich doesn't matter where you go; it's gonna get you. It's fast, and they go this way and this way, and then it's yeah. gonna wrap its neck around you, choke you out like a boa constrictor. I've seen. I don't it. think I've they do it. that. I've seen it. I don't, I've don't, seen it. Google I don't think it. that's possible. Look it up. Yeah. Uh, what is the largest animal you think you could take in a physical fight? I think I could go four rounds with a raccoon, but okay. I think it would take four. Trash rounds. panda. It would be a trash panda. I would need breaks. Okay. I have to get into my corner. You know, you know, you're not worried about rabies. Well, no, I, I, I'm very worried about rabies. If you get but, scratched or bit by this raccoon, hey, but you think you could take him? Hey, listen, when you get into the ring with a trash panda, yeah, rabies is a risk. That'll happen. You can't mess around. It's it's you know? it's, it's nine out of ten chance. Depending on you're gonna get rabies. You can get a shot for that. You can get a shot for that. Yeah, exactly. about thirty of them in yeah. your sternum. Yeah, well, that'll happen, but. I think I could do it. I think it'd probably take four rounds. Raccoon. Four rounds. All right. Maybe three rounds, depending on how much sleep I got the night before. I think I could go a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. You know those people that box kangaroos? Yeah, they're idiots. Yeah. No, I'd do it. Yeah? I'm one of those idiots. I think I could take a kangaroo in a boxing match. So you would just be like this? Yeah, I'd be put them up. I'd do the the 20s, 30s fighting style like that. Yeah. And I think I could bop them on the nose, just like we've recommended, like you do with sharks. Yeah. And I think that I could beat a kangaroo in a physical fight. It honestly concerns and me that big. every time we discuss like <laughs> fighting animals, your only solution is to bop them in you the nose. You bop them on the nose. Like yeah. I worry about you going camping with your family. If we see a bear? If you see any animal yeah, for that just matter. Bop them just on bop them in the nose. Yeah. And your son's going to be like, Dad. It's like, going to work. It's not going to work, man. It's going to work. It's a bald eagle. You disorientate him. No, yeah. you punch him right in the beak. Right in the beak. Yeah. yeah. You give me old beak blaster. I worry that the kangaroo is going to pop back on his tail, put yeah. his feet up, yeah. and then just, boom, knock boom. you right into the next problem. What was that Jerry O'Connell movie with the boxing kangaroo? Kangaroo Jack. Thank you very much, yeah. Kangaroo Jack. Great movie. Great movie. <laughs> great movie. I don't remember that movie. It's so funny. Kangaroo Jack. <laughs> kangaroo Jack. Topic three. All right. Whoa, whoa. Is it a B-Money blind bag? Find out. Nope. Oh. Ellie Duke drums. Okay. I can I can wing this. Okay. Vintage Degrassi. Oh! Start the timer. Now I gotta start. Let's the go. Timer. Start now it. I, now I gotta remember Degrassi. All I remember is Drake was on it. Uh, that's he's in the next generation. Oh, the next generation. He's not. He's not OG. Oh, okay. He's not OG. Oh, well, I think he's done okay for himself. Uh, I remember, and this is a huge. Uh, if you remember Kevin Smith as a love mm-hmm. of Degrassi, mm-hmm. of old Degrassi, he brings it up in his movies. Right. Old Degrassi is the best Degrassi. So wheels. my wheels was my. I was exactly. I was gonna say that yeah. wheels was my favorite. He had the glasses. Uh, there was, who's the kid who looked like he was a new kids on the block backstreet boy with the, with the hat. Was it? I know exactly who you speak. Uh, of. Joey, Ricky, Joey. Mikey. No, I think it was Joey, 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 Jeremiah. Oh, that's what we named our kid. Joey, name. Jeremiah. When we were growing when I grew up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Please, please elaborate. That's what we named our kitten. You had a kitten and yep. it was named Joey Jeremiah. Yeah. Yep. All right. Yep. I didn't, I didn't know that. Yeah. Right uh, away. Okay. Yeah. I think it was the name. <laughs> this was not the name. I think so. Uh, also, so yeah, Wheels was my favorite. And it was, if you're not unfamiliar with Degrassi, it was mm-hmm. a 
Canadian CBC produced like teen drama right. at a high school. It was and huge. It, it was it was a massive hit to the yeah. point. Yeah, we said Kevin Smith yeah. was a huge fan of the old Degrassi. Yeah, I remember a girl named Spike. Okay, uh, there was just always whatever kind of, and it, it actually got a little dark. Mm-hmm. Like there was stuff about you know teen drinking and driving, and yeah. oh, I remember the bully got AIDS. <laughs> I don't know if, if we can say that I don't on remember camera. Any of this stuff. The bully got the bully had AIDS, and Joey Jeremiah stood up for himself, and he punched the bully in the nose, and the bully had a bloody nose, and he's like, "Get off of me!" He's like, "Why?" And he tells him that he has AIDS. <laughs> they went dark. I like, do not remember this. Degra- at- Degrassi I do got not dark. Remember this at yeah, all? Yeah, teen pregnancies. There was it was definitely a little heroin in there. Uh, there might have been. Oh. There was definitely a lot of uh, heavier topics than you would imagine for a late 80s Canadian yeah. TV drama. I thought some of the, the, the heavy topics would be like, what's in this, the, the, the sloppy Joes? <laughs> At the school cafeteria. Yeah, is that like real beef? You know, yeah, like that's what I thought. I didn't know they be get like, they get real heavy. I didn't think yeah. it'd be like a toy soldier situation where they're taken over by terrorists. <laughs> I didn't realize <laughs> they didn't was, go that far. They didn't go that far. Yeah, they didn't do that, but I w- it wouldn't surprise me. I don't remember Degrassi. I remember, yeah, that's dark. It's right. real dark. All right now, the ones that came later, yeah, all the spinoffs and yeah, the Drake one. Drake Drake was in a wheelchair. Yeah, uh, I never watched those, mm-hmm. but the original Degrassi, I mm-hmm. watched that. It was really good. Yeah. I feel the best Great topic. teenage kind of high school shows are the ones where 20% of the characters are hooked on meth. I yeah. feel like that's where you get like the real... Like, like 90210. I like that. Yeah. That's that's what I'm into. <laughs> that, a lot of, that's the storylines. A lot like. of meth. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. Well, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hope you like the new setup. Mm. Uh, K-Dog's... Uh, uh, design on the desks. I love it. Mm-hmm. It's great. Let us know in the comments what you think. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if you want to submit topics for the new show uh, every week, please put them in the comments. Also follow uh, K Dog and Fish on Instagram. We put it out each week to submit topics. Plus, we have B Money's blind bag picks, mm-hmm. which we didn't get one this time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's also fun. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time. I'm Fish. Okay, dog. We'll see you again soon.